Hello class, this is section 2.5 and in this video we are going to discuss the Laplace equation. This is a new type of PDE and it is actually one that you have probably seen before. This is the Laplace operator that you've learned in multiple variable calculus and we are just setting it equal to zero. So if you may remember the Laplacian is the divergence of the gradient it can also be written as, in the 2D case, the second derivative with respect to x plus the second derivative with respect to y. If we set the Laplacian equal to zero, this means that there is no net flux in our vector field. Here is a visual representation of what it looks like to have a zero Laplacian, so there's zero net flux. You see all the arrows are pointing in the same direction and the same magnitude, so it makes sense that the flow coming in the circle is the same as the flow leaving the circle, and therefore the net flux is zero, and this is a situation where the Laplacian of u is equal to zero everywhere. So while we have just been working on the one-dimensional problem so far, the Laplace equation is useful for the 2D problem. In particular, to find 2D two-dimensional steady-state solutions to the heat problem. Now, as a reminder, steady-state solutions are one for which the derivative with respect to t is zero. So a steady-state solution does not change with time. We expect most of the heat problems that we encounter to tend toward a steady-state solution in long time. So let's first introduce the 2D heat equation. And it's not that different from the 1D heat equation, except that on the right-hand side, instead of the second derivative, we have the Laplace operator. If you remember from multivariable calculus, the Laplace operator, the Laplacian, is very often the analog of the second derivative in one dimension. And this is exactly what you're seeing here. So it's just a partial u partial t equals k, some constant. Laplacian of u. And so if we impose the steady state solution condition, if the partial derivative of u with respect to t is zero, we get exactly that the Laplacian of u is zero. I suppose I should make a clarification here before I proceed. Um, the Laplacian of u is just going to be partial squared partial x squared plus partial squared u partial y squared there is no need for the partial t squared term. We never include this. It's normally understood that when you are taking the Laplacian, you're just considering the space variables and never the time variable. But here's a question for you before we end this video. Why does zero net flux mean the same thing as a steady state solution to the heat problem? As you can see, um, Laplacian u equals zero means two things. So they must be the same thing somehow. So I want you to take a moment to think about it, use your physical intuition. We will discuss this in class.